Well, as you can see, we're here at the CCA workbench, and it's time for the Academy Sports and Outdoors Rigs and Techniques. Dave, we're talking about kingfish here at the bench. Yes. So what do you think we should start? Well, you know, the kingfish, he's kind of like the poor man's wahoo. You know, he's, he's closer to shore, um, very accessible. They school up most of the times when we're out there fishing for them. Uh, they're either, you know, in 90 to 100 feet of water or right up close to the beach, which in the summertime, right now, the great big ones are coming right up on those pogey pods that are coming up and down the beach. Yeah. So that's that's where we're going to target those giant ones. If you were fishing in that tournament August 5th, the guy who knows where all those pogey pods are and they're getting mashed by the giant ones, he'll make that run to wherever he thinks that is. Right. But that's that's the, probably the best way to catch them. You're going to have to use wire because their teeth are incredibly sharp. I, I rigged up, this is a, a an inline three hook rig for let's say a ribbon fish, a long bait, or right. like a four pound tuna, right. something like that. Uh, you gotta use wire. I, you, you, the professional kingfish guys will go down to number four wire to get a bite, right. uh, and they catch big kingfish on number four wire. So right. you can use number four, I think that's number nine. I, I use heavier that. wire most of the time. Um, if I'm fishing in a, in a place where I know there's kingfish, I'm usually, bottom fishing as well. Right. So what I'll do is I'll drop a sabiki rig down and try to catch a live bait where I want to fish for the kingfish. Right. And I'll put it on one of those uh, a freshy. A fresh one. Wherever I'm at. If it you know, if I have to snag a pogey, then I'll do that. But if I'm in a if I'm fishing on a reef or something, let's say uh, twenty seven out of Cape Canaveral, which is where the kingfish usually are, mm -hmm. uh, you can put down there, grab a, a live bait, and while I'm bottom fishing, I'll just drift that live bait out, you know, about halfway down in the water column, and something's gonna find him, and it's usually a big kingfish or a big wahoo. Right. You know, the wahoos will be in 90 feet of water as well, and the, and the big wahoos will sometimes hang around with kingfish. Gotcha. So, but this is my, this would be my normal trolling rig uh, for, for kings, it's just number nine wire, or number seven wire with a number seven or number eight O'Shaughnessy hook. You know, Eagle Claw O'Shaughnessy hook, and uh, with a island lure on it. Right. That's that's the uh, a sail lure. But I can use a tracker, and I also like to run at least two of them. I usually have naked. Uh, a kingfish, like you said before, will sky on a bait that's skipping across the surface, and a lot of times we'll get bites out off the naked. You know, and there anything naked. Anything works. naked works exactly. <laughs> and, and I love a sea witch on a downrigger. Right. You know, we you get use downrigger because a lot of times the kingfish will settle deeper in the water column. Right. And we'll slow down, going about four knots, and we'll put out a, a downrigger, uh, a planer, and uh, try to catch them down there. And we usually get a lot of bites doing that. Put a double hook ballyhoo back there, or a ballyhoo with a stinger rig. I got a stinger there. It's just a uh, a big treble, you know, that you can you can lay alongside. You know, put that on your hook when it comes when it's coming out of the ballyhoo, right. so that that lays down alongside of his tail. Mm -hmm. Or you can stick it in his tail. I like to just let it lay back there, right. uh, because when we're moving, usually we're moving fast enough to keep it drawn back. And when he comes and eats that tail off, which is what mackerel do, they cut the propeller off. They, exactly, they come, they come smoking back. in take their tail off and then we'll spin around and come back and get them. But usually I'll have that stinger back there and they don't get the chance to come back around and get them. You know, you hear Jimbo talk yes. about the drone spoon all the time. Everything still eats the drone spoon. Not anybody hardly pulls it anymore, which is crazy because the kingfish love that drone spoon. The commercial guys right. will pull a spoon and just rip them to shreds. I don't know why a lot of people have gotten away from the spoon because it has never stopped catching fish. Well, those, you see those commercial uh, kingfish guys, and they'll have the spoon yeah. out. Yeah, they'll, and they'll, and they'll orange, use stuff like this, yeah. too. And what they do is, guys, you'll see them with their hand yeah. on the yo-yo, and they're jerking yeah. it like this, exactly. which makes it speed up and it bounces up and down. The same thing happens with this. Right. Really cool way to add a little more uh, excitement to your lure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I also like to use trolling plugs, like that mirror lure down there. Yeah. Anything with a lip on it that'll get, I think that one goes down 25 feet. You Ooh. know, it'll get down there. And, uh, you know, king, kingfish like any little fish. And if it's down there vibrating like crazy, they're gonna climb on it. They're gonna climb on it and eat it. And you can also, you know, if, you, if you're marking a big school of kingfish, you can stop on top of them and throw that live bait rig out and work the area with, with uh, a nice jig because, you know, these, these things work really good as well. You know, and I'm gonna tell you, Dave, you know this, but guys, in South Florida, when we're kite fishing, the bycatch all the time, Yes. Is a kingfish, it's usually a really big one. Yep. Skyrocketing 
on one of your sailfish baits yes, because they, it's right up there on the surface. And Bree and I won uh, the Dolphin Tournament, the Miami Dolphins Tournament. We ran from Miami all the way to Stewart, and how we caught them was big kingfish. We caught them uh, kite fishing, right, Bree? Absolutely, we did, and I caught um, kingfish while we were tuna fishing on the Thomas Flyer with Jimbo. Yeah, that's, and that's right. And, and that can be a tricky thing because a lot of times we're using mono. What, the, yeah. what happens is if you're using a circle hook, which is another good reason to use a circle hook, sometimes that thing will catch him right in the corner of the mouth. Mm -hmm. and he doesn't get near that monofilament and we still catch him. Pretty which is a, it's a great thing if we can do it. Pretty work <laughs> It's a great here. thing, lots of variety. 